response time for a medical emergency in Stone County will get a whole lot faster. In March, the Stone County Ambulance District was approved by voters. Charmel O'Dell spoke to county officials about the next steps for the project. Charmel. Francis, I'm here at the Christian County Ambulance District, and this is just a look at what Stone County could have after the approval of an ambulance district that will bring in nearly $3 million for emergency services. The ambulance district, they had 80% of the vote. Stone County Clerk Denise Dickens says with a population of a little over 30,000, the community is rapidly growing. During the summertime, we could have up to probably 50,000 folks in our county that would benefit from this ambulance district. Now that Stone County Ambulance District is passed, the next step is to get the area divided into six different groups. Next week, the county commissioners will sit down and they're gonna have to try to get these districts um, mapped out with as close to population in each district as we can. And those six areas will be voting on a uh, director from each of those six areas, which will make up the board for the, the Stone County Ambulance District. Once districts are established, the county will determine how long each director's term will be. After an ambulance district is um, voted and approved, we have 90 days to get it back on the ballot for the directors. There'll be uh, two of them will be two year terms, two will be a uh, one year term and two will be a three year term. And then following the reelection or the next voting for that particular uh, district, they will be three terms each year thereafter. If you're thinking about running for the board, this is what you'll need to do. So they'll just come to my office, bring their driver's license. They'll have to be a registered voter and uh, we can get them signed up and on the ballot. Now, the sales tax for the district will start being collected in October. In Christian County, I'm Charmelle Dell, KY3 News.